Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Bjorning and it's time to ask Mordrumbor what he has to say. I will tell thee where lies thy doom. I understand thou hast already seen the sights of Amarthiel's next assault, friend Pineclaw, and their defenders believed in the strength of their defenses. But this time will be different, for Amarthiel has new servants and thy struggles have come to naught. Hurry now to thy master, to Calinglad of Tinadir, and tell him where his friends will be slain, at the port of Anuminus and the gate of Adanan. Amarthiel has told me the names of those marked for death, Wenanir and Torcarian. Tell Calinglad they will come no more out of Anuminus. Pay close attention with his, to his grief, fear, and pine claw. I look forward to hearing the news of it. Right. Well, when he gives you information, he certainly has a peculiar style about it. I will have to grant him that. A most peculiar style. Now, of course, the how useful information this will be is an entirely different matter, uh, most likely not at all. Well, okay, let's get out of here and let's head over to Calinglad and see what he has me do. And that is the... Anyway, everything he says, he says, All right, I'll tell you what you need to know. And, of course, insults you constantly as he does so, which usually means something's up. But we'll find out. Hello, Kalinglad. I got some information on the source of the next attacks. Probably means he's going to attack somewhere else, but that's an entirely different matter. Greetings. What ails you, Pineclaw? Do you not look well? Perhaps you should take some rest. The foes arrayed against us are fearful, and we must renew our strength from time to time. You cannot fight such an enemy for so long without rest. What is the news you bring? Morthenbor has given us the locations of Amarthiel's next assaults on the city, the port of Anuminus and the gate of Danube, as before. Uh, what does they hope to accomplish with the renewed assault? Go quickly now to Gwena in the docks at Torquenal, and yeah, right, I'm sorry, perhaps we can take some rest after the attack is over, right? That's it? Maybe nothing's gonna happen, and he's just trying to keep me from getting some sleep. Sleep deprivation is the enemy. What do you need? A friend is the skirmish camp. <laughs> That allows you to get some rep early enough so that you can... take the ride over to Anuminus instead of trying to get there the long, hard way. Well, it still feels like long because even though I took the fast travel option, you have to get well away from Tinder <coughs> itself for some reason before it'll... Let you through there. It sounds like there is a battle going on outside. Actually, we need to get over this way. And into the. Well, I think we can just go this way. Yeah, take the shortcut. What can go wrong with a shortcut? Right? No. Anyone ever remembers the shortcut they took in the Fellowship of the Ring? He's, you know that plenty of things can go wrong. <laughs> Hello there, I'm back. Oh, that's a noisy bunch in their fear. The shadow must fall. 
Okay. It has been quiet since you were here, Pineclaw. I suspected the Agamer might be planning a fresh assault, but I have seen no signs of it thus far. Wait! What's at the bottom of the hill? A fresh assault! We must defend at once! It looks like... Well, it looks like a Kordaran ritualist. Aha! This is your fresh assault! One wolfman and a... This is your tough, vicious assault? Oh, here, here's another one. I mean, really, this is a joke. I mean... This is... I can't believe that this ranger can't handle this thing. Alright. I am convinced then that yes, this was totally, totally, totally a sidetrack. I mean, really. This is just too easy. Uh, actually, I think this was probably used to be a fellowship quest. Huh. They, that would be my guess, because back when you were expected to be in a fellowship for most of a Numinous, and a lot of the epic storyline was meant for a fellowship, then I can understand under those circumstances that this could have been a full fellowship, and that would have been a bit much for a single ranger to handle. Some of the storyline gets a little... Shall we say... Silly? When you look at it from the point of view of a solo person doing it. I personally think that should have been a signature there. Signature would have been A, more of a challenge, and B, would have fit better with... We having a ranger to help us. In fact, it was a ranger to help us. It's possible they could get away with an elite, even. But at the very least, I say a signature, especially since they do have the wolf with them for extra damage. Maybe the, the thing is signature would be better, especially if you're playing a lighter class or something like that. So, yes, I think a signature would have been much more fitting for that quest. But now, let's see. This one? Hello, came to warn you of another attack. How can I be of service? I do not see anything, Pineclaw. Are you sure the prisoner said that they were planning a fresh assault upon the docks? Wait, I see them. Boats pulling upon the dock. Oh, surprise. Come on, we must stop them from landing. Well, okay, now this looks more serious. Of course, the fact that they're doing it in ways, in three ways instead of all together is, of course usual bit of MMO silliness, but... But, yeah, we've got the... Ran tossed... Ran tossed arrows for hire! Ran tossed arrows for hire. Oh, good. I, I, I had not noticed that before. Okay. Good name there. Alright, and let's see. Rantos Mariner. Alright. Okay, there's your arrows are us. It's down now. I admit, this one's a little bit. Well, of course, by going in against all three at once by myself. What was the them left? I think this one's. Okay, three at a time, I think that's a little bit more like... Especially if you're going over confident like I did on that second group. But with her help, three is pretty easy. Alright, we have repelled them. Victory is ours once again today, yes. So therefore, is that it now? Okay, we just need to get back to Kalinglad. That's right. All the way back to a new Minas. I'll see you when I get there. We are back here with Kalinglad. 
What do you need? Once again, the words of Morthenbor have guided us true, Pineclaw. It is good fortune indeed that allowed you and Tadan to make him prisoner of the rangers. All right, yeah. And in return, we get nothing useful. All right, we will try this. How can I be of service? Listen to me. I would do well to remember Laridan's words to you. Morthrumbor is still a servant of the enemy, and despite the usefulness of his information, he would bring us all to harm if given the chance. I temper my words of good fortune with reminder to use caution when dealing with him. It is reminder we both should take to heart. Laridan came to speak with me while you were away. He wished to know if any progress had been made in recovering the Palantir. I told him of our military victories, but he did not seem encouraged by the news. We do not see eye to eye on this matter, he and I, but surely you must see that our successes in Manuminus are crucial for taking the seeing stone from An Amartio? I could not ease his mind, and Lairdon asked that you see him as soon in the keep when you return. Perhaps you can make him see the rightness of our course. A numinous must be reclaimed before we can hope to wrest a palantir from a Martheel's clutches. We have time, Pinecall. Tell him this. All right, I will. Do not trust him. Well, that is an excellent, excellent, excellent piece of advice. So what are we going to do? We're going to trust them! No, um... <laughs> well, that's what it feels like sometimes, doesn't it? Good. Let's go inside. And find Lairdin once more. And tell him... That... Well, that we've had great victories! That no, we don't have the Palantir yet. I've got some good news and some bad news. First, the good news. Well, let's see. Let's see if there is any good news. Hello, Lairdon. What can I do for you? Pankala, welcome! I am glad that you have come. You do not seem well, my friend. You cannot defend all of Anuminus by yourself, despite Kalinglad's wish that you might. I asked you to come because I want to know if Morthenbor has spoken at all of the Palantir to you. He has not. I find it most interesting that he has kept you busy with military matters in the city, while we know that Amartheal has a Palantir in her possession. My heart tells me that Morthenbor is delaying us for his mistress. Her goal has not changed. She seeks Narchwell. Do not be distracted by the errands on which he sends you. Will you bring my words to Tadan, the ranger that guards Morthenbor? Tell him that I will come to see him in a few hours. I want to ensure that he is alert to the danger of his prisoner's whisperings. All right. So in other words, that is what Lairdon believes is. His lie is that he's just giving us little minor skirmishes all over the place, making them sound like they're big, important events. While the whole main purpose is, of course, to keep the rangers busy, to keep me busy, and, of course, to make sure that the Palantir is used and safe while we're all doing that. Hiya, Tadan. How are things going? What do you need? I will look forward to Lairdon's visit, Pineclaw. The prisoner is not very good company, and I have seen him giving me unpleasant looks out of the corner of my eye. The air in this room feels so stifling, too. 
I may see if I came to Forkan or Nethuna and take a shift or two after Laredon's visit. It will do me good to clear my head and put an end to the prisoner's constant ramblings. He has taken a rattling off by exploits of his fellows, one of them in particular. If I never heard the name Golchukchir again, I would be greatly pleased. Golderchir? Golderchir? Whatever. Golderchir will destroy thee! Amarthia will soon set him to it! <laughs> thy efforts are for naught. Didst thou repulse the attacks on thy friends? It matters not, but I admire thine efforts in the face of such overwhelming odds. Thou canst not prevail against guilt or cheer, friend Pinclaw, no matter how strong or wise thou thinkest thyself to be. For guilt or cheer wields Tan Morgul, yes! The defeat of the Dunedain will be complete when he brings his powers to bear upon the city. <laughs> right. Guldakir has the power to destroy the Dunedain. Thou wishest to hear more of Tan Morgul, friend Pineclaw? I thought thou wouldst. It's a relic of ancient Numenor. Corrupted through the dark arts of my brethren and gifted to Goldachir for safekeeping. Thou wonderest why he has not brought it to bear upon the city? The reason is simple. Amarthio forbade him from using it until she has derived as much amusement as she from the pathetic struggles of the Dunedain. <laughs> that time draws near. If thou wishest to postpone thine utter defeat, thou wouldst do well to relieve Gorachir of Tan Morgul and soon. His restraint will not last forever. My jailer has something to say. What could that be, Pine Claw? Right, okay, what can that be? What can I do for you? We have come to it at last, Pine Claw. I can feel it! I have not had an easy time guarding the prisoner, but it will all be worthwhile if we can defeat this Gurachir before he is permitted to use Tan Morgul against us. We are in luck too, because I have fought against Gurachir and know where he is. Shortly after Anuminus was taken, a small group of us fought to the uppermost level of the city. There, in a courtyard, full of the fell idols and cursed trappings above Ekad Garthandir, we encountered Gorachir. He drove us away, and our assault ended in defeat. That courtyard is called Malimband. If you can fight your way up through the city to Malimband, you might be able to defeat Gorachir and take Tan Morgul from him. The day could be ours. And when I said ours, I meant O-U-R-S as in the possessive and not H-O-U-R-S as in many, many hours in the day. But whatever, whether it's ours or ours, our next episode we are going to go and try to get Tan Morgul as we return to... Piney Plays, The Bjorni.